girls usually have nice things to say about their companies but sometimes things heat up and they can't help poking fun at their bosses. Whether they are directly calling out their company for doing something in particular or are making fun of their CEOs, here are some of the best disses that idols weren't afraid to share. 1. When Super Junior Heechul showed off his different levels of shade there was this time when Heechul told everyone exactly what Super Junior thought of one of their cover images. Your browser does not support video. Our members really hate this cover. Is it an Audi logo or the Olympic logo? No one knows. Heechul not to be outdone by himself. Heechul also majorly roasted SM Entertainment when Super Junior was on hiatus. Your browser does not support video. Is SM out of money these days because Super Junior is on hiatus? Heechul la choice is advertising in red invented by Teets 2. Or the time when BLACKPINK's Rosé accidentally dissed Yang Hyun Suk. What would you say if someone asked if your boss was your ideal type? You really can't blame Rosé for her response. 3. Then there are the many, many times highlights Yo Sub roasted his former company. He's caught this spelling mistake and couldn't stop himself from poking fun at it. Then he found another one with much the same result. And then there was this straight up diss. 4. And just because he's now a CEO of his own company, doesn't mean Highlights Yo Sub will stop being sassy just because he's CEO doesn't mean he won't call out the company's director. 5. How about the time GOT7 called out Park Jin Young? You got to love the moment GOT7 wasn't letting Park Jin Young get away with how he greeted them. Your browser does not support video. Versus how he greeted Suzy. Your browser does not support video. 6. Or when BTS mimicked Bang Si Hyuk, BTS has mimicked him a lot but in one case the mimicking even came complete with J-Hope dressed up as Bang Si Hyuk. Your browser does not support video. We also can't forget LOONA Kim Lip's salty introduction when Kim Lip was introduced on Luna TV she threw some shade after being stuck in the basement while previous videos were shot in different countries. The company even knew about her diss and included it in their captions. Your browser does not support video. 9. Plus 2 p.m. Tai Sian's Twitter rant 2 p.m.'s Tai Sian wasn't happy that JYP Entertainment seemed to be focusing on their status as part of the Big 3, instead of individual staff members and let everyone know about it on Twitter. If those who don't help out or have good management get promoted, then what becomes of the people who do help out and manage me? Is this a decision that is understandable? Will fans be able to understand an agency that I can't even understand as a celebrity? What JYP Entertainment needs for 2014 is a reformation. The agency needs to be a place where people want to work hard instead of just coming in and leaving exactly on time. If the workers of an entertainment agency cannot be entertained, how can the company satisfy the public? Don't place importance on being part of the Big Three or the agency's name but it's time to seek for substance. If our agency wants to aim for the best in 2014, it doesn't have to do with solely the producer's strengths but also the workers of the company as well. For the unappreciated JYP staff but who deserve the actual credit, Tai Sai in 10. Then we have Akmu totally making fun of Yang Hyun Suk when Chan Hyuk pulled out these moves you couldn't help but laugh. Your browser does not support video, but things got even better when you found out where he got the dance moves from. Your browser does not support video. 11. When Girls' Generation's Taeon told SM Entertainment to buck up Taeon was just signing some CDs when she noticed some defects. Your browser does not support video. Instead of letting it pass, she called SM Entertainment out on it. Your browser does not support video, and did it one more time for good measure. Your browser does not support video. 12. The time BAP's Yonggook created an entire diss track with lyrics like, values surrounded with money, their crooked compass and, assholes who ruined this with their bellies full, there is no doubt this is a complete diss track. And former Rainbow member NOEUL called out her company and former Rainbow member NOEUL created her own diss track on an episode of Weekly Idol asking the company why they were sitting on her talent. Your browser does not support video. 14. While BTS created this gem and who could forget BTS's own diss track? Legendary SM composer Yoo Young Jin caught illegally riding unlicensed motorcycle.